Why are you really here, Rachel? Because I'm afraid of myself. When I decided to become an actor, I always wanted to be part of a story that would deal with with the, with, the, with the darkness and the light and the heartbreak and the vulnerability and the, the subjects are, are, are great. I mean, they really, they really attract me. It had this eerie, confusing, magnetic feeling to it. Even in the script, I was like, wow, how cool that idea of what we think we see and don't see in this very unreliable narrator is a blackout alcoholic and you never see that particularly in a mainstream film. And I learned when you wake up like that, you just say you're sorry. <laughs> Just say you're sorry for what you did and you're sorry for who you are. I was drawn in by the female perspective, the three women going through separate things and separate difficulties and then somehow being related. I lie to Scott, I lie to you. I mean, I know that's not the point of therapy, but I have to keep things vague. I liked the the way in which it was told, you know, it has it, it's not, it doesn't follow the sort of normal linear um, beginning, middle, and end thing. It does big jumps and there's gaps. Your wife hit me on Friday night. She said you yelled at her. That no, night. that is not what happened. She was she was in the tunnel and she she hit me. It's like a magnet that keeps pulling you in deeper and deeper, and that's because these characters un unfold very slowly, and sometimes you are drawn in a certain direction, and then you're pulled in a completely different direction. Did you murder Megan Hipwell? No. It's a thinker's thriller. I'm not the 